the hardest thing for me has been actually getting back in fight shape. You know, um, I always stayed in shape. I always train. Um, always trying to improve my game and get better at martial arts and as a martial artist. But the actual intensity of training for a real fight is very different. So having to do the sprints, you know, do the road work, get in the pool, um, and, uh, and, and basically make myself a student again rather than a coach. You know, I've been teaching for a long time and it's, it's nice. It's actually, it's actually really nice, really refreshing. I didn't know, uh, I was going to be able to find a fight. I've been hunting for so long that finally finding one um, put me in a position where I could finally have something to focus on that was my own, and it, and it feels awesome. I feel great. The ACL was a big part of it. It takes a lot of time to, to properly recover, but for me, it was building the confidence back up between you know what my knee used to be and, and what it was after the surgery, and just believing in my knee and knowing that I could actually use it the way that I used to. I have a great group of coaches and I'm surrounded by good people. Um, my girlfriend gave me the right kind of support and we basically, when we decided that I was going to fight again, 100%, it wasn't just sit around and wait for a promoter to call me. Um, I started putting feelers out, calling as many promoters, sending, I mean, I probably sent 100 text messages to 100 different people in my contact saying, look, I want to fight, I want to fight. And I was just harassing old coaches, harassing promoters. Um, and in, in three years, the sport has changed. It's changing every year. So in three years, it changed so much that some promoters that used to be rocking and rolling aren't even promoting anymore. There's plenty of days where I'm not happy with myself, but um, I just constantly look to find the, uh, the positives and, and the things that I do well. And uh, I will say that um, my uh, sports psychologist, Coach Mario Soto, has, has helped over the years. I mean, he's, he's the kind of guy that I can look to as a father figure. I can call him and say, on a day's notice or on a second's notice, hey, I, I had a little bit of a, a mental roadblock today. Something didn't click and I'm not happy. It messed with my confidence. And, and the talk that I'll have with him will, will straighten that all out. And in fact, it'll help build my confidence. So he's given me a lot of the tools and the knowledge in, on how to build that house. I'm definitely in a hurry. This is this is something I'm very excited to have the fight opportunity. So I want to thank Willie Siska and Maverick for giving me the opportunity to fight um, and showcase my skills. That being said, I'm 35 and I am I am in a rush to put on a show. Um, this is an opportunity that I'm going to take full advantage of and, and uh, I'm going to go showcase some, some things in this fight that will get me another fight and from there it'll get me another fight. So one fight at a time, but um, yeah, my, my key is the performance in this one and that'll get me more fights. But yeah, you're right, 35 is not, I'm not a spring chicken anymore, this is a young man's sport. There is lots and lots of 25 year old guys full of piss and vinegar that are willing to fight for nothing which is another reason it's hard to find fights There's a lot of guys taking pro fights after two or three amateur fights that have been told to and uh, they're going to get shown that they're not by some of the old guys that had the experience and the knowledge that they just don't so which again good luck young guys